four million women are missing in the developing world compared to their counterparts in the developed countries. Never born, dying as children, or in the reproductive years. That's like missing a Los Angeles, or Johannesburg, or Yokohama. According to UNDP, women own only 1% of the world's wealth. Eliminating discrimination could increase worker productivity by 25%. No country can afford to overlook 50% of its talent. So gender equality is key to democratizing development. And another $4.1 billion to invest in developing countries. The uncertainties of financial markets pose real risks to the recovery we're facing. We're looking very closely at the effects of this, particularly on developing countries. We've already started to work with the European Bank of Reconstruction Development and others on the particular dangers that we can see in Central and Eastern Europe and the Balkan countries. institutions and governance. Democratizing development up to July or August, most of the developing countries were focused on the challenges of overheating and inflation because they'd grown quite well. And as you can see, food prices still pose a serious risk. But now we may encounter new risks on the demand side. So we're going to have to watch closely the implications for the World Bank Group's financial support and look at how we can leverage our resources most effectively. across the Middle East and North Africa continue to necessitate flexible, multidimensional responses. Events across the Middle East and North Africa continue to necessitate